MTD have travelled to Coventry today to the headquarters of FANUC. Now, we are here today to be discussing the automation event that's occurring on the 29th to the 31st of October. Paul, what's happening? I've just been inside talking with Andy Armstrong, who uh, heads up sales here at FANUC in the UK, um, really pressing him as to why they've gone down this path of having an event all about automation. Now, when we come to events here at Fanet, it's often about the, the inventory, so maybe the, the robo cut machines or the robo drill machines or even the injection molding machines. Uh, this event is about those two, but it's about the, the, the automation and bringing automation to the forefront of manufacturers' minds. One of the points that we were discussing is that actually here in the UK, uh, we are the, or we have the lowest amount of robots per 10,000 employees in the G7. In fact, we're the 22nd in the world. Now, some countries just, you know, just overseas, just in Germany, they'll have over 300 robots per 10,000 um, employees. We have about 75. Now, that needs to be addressed and manufacturers in the UK really need to uh, get on top and get, you know, get, get into automation and find out what it can do for them. Often the barriers to entry are things like the outlay of the cost people might be concerned about the skill in using them people talk about you know uh, is it going to reduce their their headcount of employees are people going to lose their jobs all things that are a bit of a myth to be honest so why should end users invest their time and attend this event is it from an educational perspective very very much it, this isn't an event that's ramming uh, you know it's got a target of sales to achieve in in a three-day period this is an event that is geared at educating manufacturers as to some of the reasons why those barriers to entry should be should be kind of jumped over i mean the first one we talk about the cost of the machines uh, or the cost of the automation it can sometimes be 25 to 30 percent of the cost of maybe the, mach the machine tool or the machine that's making the part and people think that's a lot of money to spend on an addition to a to a spindle however uh, if you look at the the, the utility you're getting out of a machine that might be as low as 35 40 percent if you're having to if the operators having to intervene if they're having to set things in the machine whereas with the addition of automation that can go up to 90 percent so those arguments are kind of quashed uh, but it's not just about automation on let's say we, as we're talking about machine tools they're talking about uh, picking and placing end of line packaging um, you know uh, the, the vision systems the intelligence of automation these days that is making uh, is making it it's not so necessarily skill intensive. You can actually have some of these vision systems that are picking up components. You don't have to put parts. You can put parts anywhere and the vision system will pick it up and load it into a machine. So total flexibility in automation as well. So there you have it, 29th to the 31st of October, the FANUC automation event.